guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have a really exciting review video for you guys. I say that in every review video. I should probably stop that. The review video that I'm going to be doing is on the Bellamy hair extensions. Now, I will tell you guys that these hair extensions were sent to me. I posted a picture on my Instagram page um, probably about a month ago and lots of you guys were really excited about my review on it. And I have to say that I am not a hair extension connoisseur. When Bellamy contacted me to send me their hair extensions, I was really iffy because I turn down a lot of companies who come to me trying to send me stuff. Because in my head, if I'm not actually going to go out and purchase the item with my own money, there's no point for a company to send it to me just because... If I wouldn't purchase it with my own money, I don't want to recommend it to you guys, so I just don't see a point in it. But Bellamy was a little different because I've been hearing tons of stuff about clip-in hair extensions, and I was kind of doing research before Bellamy contacted me. I had heard of the Bellamy brand before, but I also heard a lot of rave about other brands of hair extensions, so I was kind of doing some research. And then when Bellamy contacted me and said they wanted to send them to me, I was like, you know what, this is kind of the perfect opportunity for me to jump on it so I can try it out, test it thoroughly, and give you guys my honest review. I don't ever lie to you guys in my review videos because I don't ever see the point in that because if you guys are going to take my recommendation, go out and purchase this item yourself, spend your own money on it, and you don't like it, I don't want that to be placed on my shoulders. So I would completely give you guys honest feedback and I always do in every video and this video is no exception. So Bellamy was kind enough to not only send me a full head of hair extensions, but they also sent me two pairs of their bangs, which I'd never tried, so I was kind of curious about. They also ended up sending me their six in one curling wand as well as their flat iron. So they sent me a whole bunch of stuff and I knew I couldn't review it all in one video. So I decided to split it up into two videos. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the hair extensions as well as the bangs. And then in my next video, which will be up in a couple of days, I will be reviewing the six in one curling wand and comparing it to the new me counterpart, which is the new me lustrum curling wand as well as reviewing their flat iron. So that will be in the next video. So we're just going to jump right into my hair extension review video. The reason I was excited to try these hair extensions is mainly for volume because my hair, although it's kind of thick, it's pretty flat. From the top, you can see it's pretty flat. Even from the ends, you guys can see my hair is thick in itself. However, the ends are kind of like raggedy, like there's not a lot of thickness down at the ends just to get the overall appearance of my hair to be almost like that wow she just like she came out of a magazine like she looks phenomenal so i figured clip-in hair extensions was the best way to do that no way was i ever going to do anything permanent like the glue-ins or anything like that because i'm not that committed to the idea i think clip-in extensions are perfect because you can clip them in whenever you want them you take them out at night and you don't have to use them every day if you're not feeling them one day you don't have to do it one day if you want them consecutively if you want to put them in every single day for a year you can totally do that so the extensions that i was sent is the bellissima 220 gram hair extensions these retail for 209 dollars these are 100 percent human remy hair so this is what the bellissima 220 gram extensions look like there's actually a piece that comes in this little section but i took it out and put it in here because I've already worn these extensions multiple times, but basically this piece right here, as you can see on the back, it says tester. Now what you should do with this is if you purchase this set of hair extensions or any hair extensions from Bellamy, it'll come like this and there'll be a tester piece. So what you can do is actually take out the tester piece, clip it into your hair, and decide whether the hair actually blends and matches with your natural hair color. If you think that it's way off and there's no way, you ordered the wrong color or something like that, you can actually return the set of hair extensions and get a different set. However, if you open up this pack of hair, which is where most of the hair and the extensions is, uh, there's actually a little sticker on the back that says warranty void if removed. 
So if you actually open up this sticker, you cannot return the hair extensions anymore. Definitely try out the tester first. I did myself as well before I opened up this pack just to make sure it was my hair color. The color that I ended up going with is 1B, which is the off black. They also have a jet black and I was debating if I should get the jet black or the off black, but then I figured the jet black is probably for people who actually dye their hair like very, very black. Whereas mine is just, this is my natural hair color. So um, I decided to go with the off black, which was a perfect match for my hair. So this is how much hair that you are getting in one set of the Bellissima 220 gram hair extensions. So you guys can just see by the thickness of this, this is incredibly thick hair. I have to say this hair is literally as thick as my hair is on my head right now. Actually, I lied. It's probably thicker. As I'm holding all of my hair here and holding these hair extensions, the extensions are thicker. So I will actually clip these in in a bit and show you guys what they look like. But before that, I will say that I have already washed these extensions. I've washed them. I've conditioned them. I have curled them. I have straightened them. And they have worked out phenomenally for me. I washed them in the sink just using the normal shampoo that I just use in my hair and then I deep condition them using a deep conditioner obviously because I wanted to make sure that they stayed really really silky because when you first take them out of the package they are so incredibly silky and I laid them out to dry and I let them dry overnight and then the next morning they were totally ready to use I just combed them out using my tangle teaser and they were completely ready to use. I sprayed some heat protectant on them and then I curled them using my Bellamy 6-in-1 curling wand and they worked out perfectly. I did get a little bit of shedding with them but nothing that was extreme, nothing out of the ordinary and nothing where I felt like I lost any significant amount of thickness to the hair extensions, there was actually minimal shedding for it being a hair extension. So firstly, we're going to talk about the clips in these hair extensions. The clips that Bellamy uses are phenomenal. They are extremely, extremely durable. They're very, very like hefty clips. They have some rubberized texture right here. So when you clip your hair in and then you snap it, it actually holds and locks into place. It doesn't hurt or anything, but it definitely lasts all day long. There is no way that, if you clip this incorrectly, there's no way that this is coming out throughout the day. My hair is pretty slick and silky. It doesn't have a lot of texture to it at all. So if any clip is gonna slip, it's gonna slip in my hair. And these clips stayed all day. So the amount of hair that you're getting in these 220 gram hair extensions, firstly you are getting five one clip wefts, then you're getting two two clip wefts, two three clip wefts, and two four clip wefts, but you can see that one of the four clip wefts is longer than the other one. So now I'm going to clip in this entire head of hair extensions. On a normal basis or on an everyday basis, I probably would not use the entire pack because it is a lot of hair. I'd probably only use half of the pack, but just for demonstration purposes, I am going to clip in the entire head of hair. Okay guys, so starting off, we're going to section off a little bit of hair at the bottom of our head and tie up the rest of our hair either in a clip or in a little bun like I've done. Then we're going to take a three clip weft and we are going to clip it at the base of the hair, right at the root. Just kind of wiggle to get a little bit of hair in the clip and then just clip it down. You want to be sure to start with the center clip and then move to the outer two clips. So here I am just sectioning off a little bit more hair, taking the shorter of the four clip wefts and clipping that also into my hair. As you can see, I'm doing the inner two clips first and then doing the outer two clips, sectioning off some more hair, and then I'm going to take the longer of the four clip wefts and clip it in the exact same way that I have the other two wefts. We are going to continue with the same process once again using another three clip weft. Just clip the center clip in first and then do the outer two clips. And now when we section off the hair, we are going to be doing the two clip wefts on the two sides of our head. So starting off with one two clip weft, I'm going to put that on the right side of my head. And then with the other two clip weft, I'm going to be putting that on the left side of my head. 
As you can see, I'm first putting the clip that's closest to my face in first, and then I'm moving back towards the back of my head. Now using the one clip wefts, I use the one clip wefts mainly just for blending purposes. I put them up towards the top of my head, anywhere where I feel like I don't have enough extensions in my hair already and I want to add a little bit more length or volume. Alrighty guys, so you can see I have the extensions completely clipped in now. So you guys can see how it looks. In my opinion, it blends really, really well. I think it looks pretty natural in my hair. Obviously, because I have this ombre going on here, you can see where my actual hair ends and the extensions begin. But I kind of think it gives a really cool look. I think for somebody who doesn't know that you have ombre hair, or that I have ombre hair at least, they wouldn't really be able to tell that um, these are extensions. They would just think I ombre some of my hair So it almost kind of looks like you have kind of those lighter brown streaks One thing I do have to know if you guys can tell the extensions are darker than my natural hair You guys can kind of see here Funny enough after I washed the hair extensions they got darker for some reason I have no idea why but when I just took them out of the package They were the perfect shade for me, but after washing them they got a little darker darker so that is something to keep in mind I don't know if that was just my hair or maybe it was the products I used in the hair but yeah they got about one or two shades darker so I still think they blend pretty well you guys can kind of see how they look like from the back I still think they're pretty nicely blended and they do look pretty nice and you can also see just how long these extensions are um, my natural hair is obviously the end of the brown part and these hair extensions come significantly longer if I straighten them they definitely be down to here, which is like my hip area. One thing that I do think is worth noting though is that because you are putting so much hair in your head, these are long, long extensions. Um, they will feel pretty heavy. The first time I put them in my hair, I actually couldn't even go the whole day because they just weighed my hair down. Like they felt really heavy in my hair, but now that I'm used to them, they are pretty much like an extension of my normal hair. So I would recommend taking really good care of this hair. It is real human hair, so you can straighten it, flat iron it, use any type of hair products that you would in your normal hair on these hair extensions. But I would just say be very gentle with them. You don't want a lot of hair to be pulled out of the actual clips because then your hair extensions will be shedding like crazy. And also when not in use, I would recommend bundling up all of your hair extensions together and kind of brushing through them with either a wide tooth comb or something like the tangle teaser or something just to get all the tangles out because these hair extensions do get tangled quite easily that's something that I found with them so I think just seeing them in my hair and just kind of seeing how I just keep I keep running my fingers through them I think that pretty much explains explains it all I do really love them. Now, the big question, would I pay my own $210 for these hair extensions? Yeah, I would. I have to say I actually would. If I felt like I really wanted extensions, but I didn't want anything permanent, and I just wanted to give my hair some body, some volume, some thickness, some length, these are great. I think they'd be perfect for any type of special occasion, whether it be prom or your birthday or a wedding or absolutely anything if you want to get all dressed up and you want your hair to be longer, thicker, almost like a movie star. I will say if the 22 inch are not your style, if they're too long for you and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want that much hair, Bellamy does offer a 20 inch length as well. So I wanted to go with 22 because Come on, the longer the better, in my opinion. Plus my hair is already relatively long. I did cut it recently, which is why it's a little bit shorter, but I have grown my hair out to this extension length before, so I am used to having very long hair. So I wanted to go all out and just go with the longest. I just, I need you guys to see it again. Look at how beautiful they are. Aren't they just like gorgeous? Okay, next I'm going to review the two sets of bangs that they sent me. Now I do have to say I have not had bangs in my hair ever since I was like a little 
girl. Um, I never ever had those Cleopatra bangs that were cut straight across and even side swept bangs. I have a little bit of bangage right now. You guys can see bangage. Is that a word? I have some bangs right here right now, um, but they're very, very, very small like there's not a lot of bangs there um, but I just usually like to have just a little bit to frame my face but these are awesome because you get a full set of bangs the first set of bangs we're going to talk about are the side swept bangs these retail for $55 on the Bellamy website which I do think is quite pricey for just bangs I think um, to get a whole head of hair for like $210 and to basically pay like one fourth of that price for just some bangs does seem kind of expensive. So this is what the side swept bangs look like. You have three clips here in the back and then you have this little mesh thing which I actually find these three clips to be really really good and actually perfect to clip them into your hair. So once you've parted your hair on the side, you can do this one of two ways. You can clip the side bangs just on top of your head like this and kind of just clip them in like this, which is totally possible. And then you can kind of see how you get that side bang look, which I think is really, really pretty. It looks really pretty, especially if you just look at it from the side. Look how gorgeous that looks. And I think as long as you clip it up, pretty far into your root right here you won't be able to see that clip so that's pretty nice so even if I just clipped it like this and you just looked at it from far away you definitely would not be able to tell I really like these side bangs I really like this little swoop that they kind of have naturally you could definitely uh, use some type of heat styling on it I haven't used any heat styling on these bangs at all this is pretty much how they came out of the packaging so um, this is kind of the natural swoop that they they have but if you kind of want to straighten them out you could absolutely do that and then it's super easy to take out you just unclip them and BAM no more side swept bangs and then the other pair of bangs that Bellamy offers are the Cleopatra bangs which are the ones that are cut straight across these are the ones I was really excited to try because like I said I've never had this type of haircut before so this is what the Cleopatra bangs look like they have the same type of clips you have the one up at the top and then the two here at the bottom and then when you clip them in you kind of just have to center that center pin and then just follow through with the side ones and once I do a little adjusting here and there you guys can see how the Cleopatra bangs look this is really really kind of different for me I have not seen myself in bangs like this I'm not sure how I feel about it it's kind of a different look um, probably something I'd have to get used to but what do you guys think about them how do you like these bangs on me it's kind of nice that I have them in the clip in version just because if I'm kind of feeling that look I could totally just clip them in and then the next day if I don't want them just take them out so that's kind of nice I think these bangs are quite fun they're something different for me and I think I actually may rock them out someday um, I have to probably get used to them a little bit though so I'll probably be wearing them around the house a little bit so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this super in-depth hair extension video. It's something I've never done on my channel before. I've never talked about hair extensions and that's because I've never really used them. So testing these hair extensions out for the past month has been a new experience for me and it's been really, really fun. So if you guys have tried out these Bellamy hair extensions, definitely let me know what you guys think. I will put more information as well as any coupon codes or anything in the description box down below. So if you guys are thinking of ordering ordering from the Bellamy site, definitely check the description box first because there will probably be some coupon codes down there for you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on my channel and my next Bellamy video will be up in a couple of days and it will be a review on the heat styling tools including the 6-in-1 curler and the flat iron. So definitely look out for that and I will catch you guys in that video. Bye!